Sister Fumi's testimony. I bet you she wasn't the only one. You know, the church is very scanty this morning. I bet you if you pull, if you pull or poll 10 people, I can tell you there will be about six people. I also felt the same way during the week. Yeah, except for the tightness in my chest. So, that being said, we know the governor of the state has mandated mask. So from here on, you know, while you're in the sanctuary, you are implored at all times to have your mask on. You know, I would take a mask over being in the hospital, you know, on, on uh, what do you call it? Yes, on the ventilator for days and still end up losing my life. The mask is nothing compared to that. You know, and we are wisdom in the Sunday school. So wisdom is profitable to direct and instruct. So danger, this is not, the mask is not the one that's saving you. We know that. We know the blood of Jesus is there, but I will always try wisdom at all times. Because it is the wisest thing to do. If Walmart is not letting you inside Walmart without a mask, you know, I... I, I I'm giving announcement, but at the same time, we ought to get this thing straight. You're not going to enter Walmart without a mask. So how is it that when it comes to church, people think it's too much to ask for? You know, I, I don't like to talk about death, but if you look from January to now, how many people COVID has really dealt with? I believe if you have been to, you don't even need to be told. If what a lot of people went through during the week, it, it will tell you something. And if you know someone that has survived COVID, go and ask them what it feels like. Oh, we have survivors. Not COVID did not kill everybody. We have people that survived it. And I'm telling you, a lot of people have not regained their taste in food and smell. So please, the pastor is still going to talk more about it. I just want to lay the, the foundation. Happy Sunday, everyone. On a, on a brighter note, we ought to still put a, a smile on our face. I mean, it's five days to the new year. I, I hope we ought to be excited for that. Praise the Lord. We ought to be very excited. You know, uh, it's five days to the new year. We are alive and well, you know. And uh, Merry Christmas, you know. How do you say that? Yesterday was Christmas. We thank God we are alive, you know, celebrated with our families and all. On Thursdays, we are coming back to the church. So, you know, put that in mind. If you have to leave work early, we're coming back to the church on Thursday. Pastor, what time, please, sir? 7 p.m. Let's make, let's put it in our, you know, in our, thing to, in our things to do this coming Thursday. We're coming back. And on Friday, it's still our watch night service. That's not changing anything. You know, we ought to stay prayed up, and, you know, and, you know, we praise into the new year. That's when you tell God everything you want. So, Let's put Thursday in, in our tenants. And on, on the first of every year, uh, you know, except you are new in this church, we know it always goes down in, in the pastor's house. So we, they're going to be hosting us to a dinner, you know, at their house. So I don't know about you. Me, I know I'm going. So if you plan to attend and you don't have the address, they'll, they'll forward it to you. Where we just break bread, you know, we, we dine together. Let, let's put that in our things to do too. Our weekly services. Our Sunday school is from 10 to 11. A Sunday worship service from 11 to 1 p.m. Wednesday Bible study is at 7.30 p.m. Our monthly services. Second Friday of the month is our prayer meeting and is at 7.30 p.m. Every last Sunday of the month is our Holy Communion service. We're having one today. Every last Friday of, is our night vigil. One Saturday of the month is our women's meeting. First Sunday of the month is our Thanksgiving Sunday. Blessing time. Offering time. I'll always say that the secret to wealth is not in your stocks and bonds. It's not in your Bitcoin. All those things are good. We make easy profit. I'm not saying you should gamble with God. It's a commandment. Bring your tithes into the storehouse that there may be meats 
in the stars, you know, things are being paid for, electricity, so many other things. So, but you know, tithe, it's a commandment, an offering, give, and it shall be given back to you, pressed down, shaken together, running over, that men will give unto your bosom. One of the wealthiest men in this country, Pastor, Mommy Pastor, was asked, why is it that you've maintained your wealth up till today? You know what he told the reporter? He said, because I've given and I'm continuing to give. And when I'm dead, I'll be left with no dime. Bill Gates, quote, he quoted that. He said he will not leave a dime. He will give out everything. If you can boast of $200,000 in your account in this church, I'm not saying it's, it's, it's a game. You can raise your hand. And let's ask you if you can give 175000 of it away. This is a man that is worth $170 billion. And he said he would die without leaving nothing. An unbeliever. Bill Gates is not a Christian. He's not saved. He's Buddhist. And he said that's the only secret. He's giving. He's, the more he gives, the more he gets in return. So may the Lord help us. Our cash app is fcministry at yahoo.com. PayPal is fcministry at yahoo.com. Zell is 240 2570. And as you do, the Lord will bless you richly. Let's rise up as we give our offering. You are no just people. You are no just patron. You are a great God. You are God. You are no just people. thanks to God is the will of God. So I want you to think deeply in your heart and worship him and give that thanks to him for what he has done for you. Let's thank him, let's thank him, let's thank him, let's thank him, let's worship him. Lift your voice in praise to El Shaddai. Thank him for this great privilege that you have received from the Lord. Thank him for the joy that he has given to you. Let's thank him for his patience over us. Let's thank him for his grace over our life. 
Let's exhort Jesus and thank him for your life. Thank him for the blessing. Thank him for the glory. Thank him for the glory in your life. Exhort him, magnify the Lord. Jesus, we thank you. Jesus, we honor you. In Jesus' name, we pray. The song praise the Lord. And greatly to be praised in the city of our God, in the mountains of His holiness, beautiful for situation, the joy of the world, His bonds
worship him. The voice, there's no one beside him. Declare him to be. There's no one after him. There's no one before him. His holy God is the righteous God. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for this grace this morning. Thank you for the love of God for our life. Father, we lift our voice before you, O God, because you are faithful. Thank you, Lord, for your patience. Thank you for your love. Thank you that you are always there for us. Jesus, we thank you. Thank you, Lord, because you care for us, O God. Thank you, Lord, for what you are doing and what you're going to do tonight, this morning in our life. Exhort him, magnify the Lord. We magnify you. Oh, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. Hello. Trying to launch one thing to know how everything was formed. 
that thing cost billions of dollars. And they have been doing it. This project has been, they're trying to do this project for 30 years. For 30 years ago, they've been trying to put this thing together. And maybe they, they will launch it this very week. Oh, this Saturday or Sunday, they will launch that thing to discover how, whether how this art was formed, all kind of stuff. But there's no this, as a child of God, you don't need to struggle where the earth is from. The Bible says that God formed the earth. The earth was made by God, but they don't want to believe. Hallelujah. Because the Bible talks about oh, evolution, big bang, that thing. The Bible talks that God created the heaven and earth. Hallelujah. So we all know that this God has been good to us. As we say, we have a God that is in charge of our life. Listen, this morning, what we're going to do is to thank God. As I was sitting down there, you know, I said, let everyone thank me for what I've done for them. Uh, hallelujah. So what we're going to do is just to thank God for what he has done for us. You know, when we talk about next week Sunday, we are talking about 2021, 2022. So you are not coming on next week Sunday with the mindset of you are in 20. And listen, and when you look at the journey of your life, things has happened all over. If you don't just check your quick up, your, I allow you to go on your Facebook and just type the accident this morning. You can see easily one. And why that thing you are alive? Just go and check in the hospital. You see people are dying, COVID stuff. You know, see some people survive. It. You know, some people you survive it because you survive it because of the grace of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Many of you probably have it. You probably know you have it because God's grace upon your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Because of God's mercy. And so, some people cannot survive it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have known people that have not survived it. Yeah. The grace of God. The grace of God is upon your life. The goodness of God is upon your life. Now you're about to enter 2022 again. This God will not leave you in 2022. That Lord will be with you. The Lord has been with you. He will be with you. Say that amen louder. Say that amen louder. Say that amen louder. Listen, as the Lord is telling me, 2022 is going to be a great reward. Write it down. It's going to be a year of a great reward. To the children of God, 2022, I say it again, is going to be a, a great year. It's a year that God will reward his people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your years of reward will manifest. Say that amen louder. Say that amen louder. See. As we talk about Big Gate, this is what I want you to do. So I want you to praise God from your heart. Maybe I'm a friend to Big Gate. He's a pillow now. Yeah. You know, you know, everyone wants to be. I wish to be. Praise the Lord. Why I want to be. Tell me if I, I want to be a friend to be him. Because uh, to, to, uh, no, uh, yes, to be a blessing to but also to look at me one day say, uh, my friend, um, out of that billions of dollars, just go and have one. Okay, let's see. I'm a friend to him. I'm just going somewhere with him, what I'm saying. If I always go to him, that, oh, he's a friend. Uh, Pastor Festus is my good friend. We sit, we eat, we talk. Always what I'm telling him, big gate, is that, my friend, do you know that I need help? My daughter needs help tomorrow. I need money. Even though he's a billionaire, he has it. You know, if I'm coming to him all the time, with all of that mind, do you think one day he will be happy? Yeah. That all, listen, I like you, but all what I'm hearing from you is just about you. Do you ever talk about my family? Just know, talk about things about our lives. Only thing what you want to get from me is about money. The same thing for our God. If you go to God all the time, coming to him, that, oh, all what I need, my problem. Lord, what I need. And God, look at it. Even though he's God, he's sufficient, he can do all things. He said, what about my praise? What about my time? What about every 
everything about me. Hallelujah. So this, this morning, I want us to have that act, not about what you want to get from God. Let us lift our voice that you are just being good. I'm not good enough to be your friend, but you call me your friend. Hallelujah. I'm not good enough to be your son, but you call me that I'm your son, that you are my father. You call me to, you, you are fighting my battle, despite I'm not worthy. I'm so bad, I'm not worthy of coming to you, but you just have to. Yeah. Let's lift our voice and worship that God and say to him, you are faithful. You are faithful God. You are righteous God. You are only God. God that has been there for you. God that is arranging your life for you. God that is turning things around for your life. Even though you don't see it now, God that is moving things for you. Lift your voice and worship that God and say, Daddy, I just want to say thank you. I'm here just to say thank you to you. I'm here, I'm just here to say thank you to you. This morning, I'm just here to say thank you. I'm just here to say thank you for your patience. I'm just here to say thank you for your love. I'm just here to say thank you, to thank you to for what you are doing in my life. I'm just here to say thank you to you that you have been good. You have been faithful to me. You have been righteous in every area. You are always there for me. You are always go for me. Somebody lift a voice and thank him. Lift a voice and worship him. I shall worship him and something great is going to manifest in your life. I shall lift your voice to him. Lift a voice and thank him. Thank him him that has always been there. Father, I thank you. Jesus, I worship you. I lift my voice to you. I say you are good. 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 Ikata katari majishata. Liprendo sunto teli mashintile. Ripatute keri masentele bo. Ripatote Thank you, my father. In Jesus' name. We pray. One of the devil's agenda is to kill. It costs him nothing to kill. Do you know that devil loves to kill you? But God said, no, you are not going to die. Because part of his assignment is to kill people. So let me kill this one, get him out of the way. And God said, no, don't touch that one. Don't touch that one. You walk, every time you walk around dangers, dangers is around Always, but God is sending his angels to protect you. But you never look to that God and say, Daddy, I just thank you for my security. Hallelujah. You think that 911 is the one protecting you? Hallelujah. No, it's not 911 is that one protecting you. It's God of heaven that's always there for you to send his angel. I just want to say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I really want to say to you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I really want to thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yesterday, I'm thank you for today. I'm thank you for tomorrow. I'm thank you for all time.
Lift your voice and thank him and have your seat. Lift your voice and worship him. Lift your voice and give that praise to him. Have your seat. Give thanks to him. And that's what we're going to do this Thursday. Just to come and give thanks to him. And also on 31st also to bless the name of the Lord. Listen, God has been good except you don't know. Hallelujah. God, and that's what God wants from you. To look at your life and see that is good. Many of us sometimes, God has been good to us. God is not a man. I can do certain th things for you and you ask in some ways and God, you no, know, he looks, you no, know, he wants you to give thanks to him. He probably don't judge us right away. Want us to call this, us to repentance of art, to change our art for him. But also God wants everything. He wants us to appreciate him at all times. Praise the Lord. He told us when we are coming to him, we should come with what? It, when you are coming to God, what God told you to do what? Come with thanksgiving. Come with, for what? God wants every one of us to come with thanksgiving in our heart. Don't look at your body. Don't look at your problem. Don't look at what you are going through. He told you when you are coming, when you are coming to my house, you want to, to me, Come with thanksgiving because I've done so much for you than what you are talking about. Oh, God, I don't have this. God, I don't have that. Sometimes, of course, we know, I also, you know, I feel sometimes like that, but also, but when I come in, I better come with thanksgiving. Because just to ignore what God has done for us and put all what we need alone is what? It's a sin. That means we are not really appreciative of what He has done. Security, protection, provision, your life. Do you know that enemy wants to do worse than where you are today? Praise the Lord. Do you know many enemy want to do worse than what you are going through today? What anyone, whatever you want to mention today, this is what I'm facing in my life, this is what I'm going through in my life, this is what I'm passing through in my life. Do you know the enemy want to do more than that for you? But God said, No, you can't do that. You can't do that. God is still fighting your battle. Hallelujah. He said, God is not fighting my battle. He's fighting your battle because the enemy wants to finish you. God said, no, you can't do this. No, you can't do that. No. See, in all aspects of life that Job went through, he still had the time, place to thank God. Devil killed his son. All his son in one day. Destroy everything that he has worked for in life. But you know God still preserved him. So don't touch his life. Praise the Lord. If God's silent about it, the devil will kill him right away. Praise the Lord. So he still have a reason to thank God. As he worship God, God will return all his blessing back to him. I pray that God will restore all your blessing back to you. Say that amen louder. Hallelujah. Look at it very well. Let's open our Bible to Psalm 65. And I want you to think this is what I want you to do after this little word of God. Think deeply. Daddy, I thank you for this car that he gave me this year. If he gave you the car this year, thank him for it. Daddy, I thank you for the food this year. Daddy, thank him for everything that he has done for you. And don't worry whether he's not going to do more for you this year. Next year when you're going. Because when you're coming next week Sunday, you're coming to 2022. Praise the Lord. Everything that he has done, I want you to mention it one by one. I thank for my healing. I thank for the car. I thank for the job. I thank you for this. I thank you. Even the things that you don't have. I thank for my prayer that I've prayed to you that I've not yet received. That I know that I'm going to get. Praise the Lord. He said, let them thank him. Let them thank me for what I've done for them. And let's see whether oh, that's enough. Let's see. He's going to do more. You. Psalm 65, verse 1 say, He said, Praise await you, our God, in what? Zion. To you, all vow will be fulfilled. Hallelujah. He said, to, to who that all vow must be fulfilled. Hallelujah. Let's read. Everybody read, 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 read. He said, Praise waited for thee, O God, in where? Is your hallelujah unto thee shall the vow 
be performed. Unto who? Unto who? Unto who? To your papa? To your mother? To the pastor? Many of us, we just, I just blessed my man of God. No, they give God, the man of God, 100% praise, and they give God, I just thank you, daddy. No, I, nothing. Hello? It's not that, I'm not saying you should not appreciate the kudos that God has used for you, but there's nothing I can do for you. Even though I pray for you today, God answered it, not me. Praise the Lord. God answered the prayer, not the pastor. The pastor only pray and leave the rest for the hand of God. Even the doctors, they only treat you. God do the what? The healing. The, like, like, even the medicine that also you took. Some people took the medicine and it worked against them. Hallelujah. Now many of us, we are talking about the vaccination. We take the vaccine, which I encourage you. Some people have took it and they have died. Hallelujah. Why you took it and it's working for you? Praise the Lord. Because you are a child of God. Some people took that vaccine and they die. You know you hear that? Maybe they never say that to you. But you put that vaccine in your body and you are still standing. Because of God's mercy over your life. I say the praise of God will continue in life. Say that amen louder. He say praise await you our God is there. To you all our vow will be fulfilled. To you alone, that every vow of my life, to you alone, my praise of my life will be given to you. If you are giving that praise to yourself, you're going to miss the blessing. If you are giving that praise to yourself, to people, the praise that's supposed to be to God, and you are giving to yourself, or you are giving to it, to someone, you're going to miss out of God's blessing. He said, to you alone, the vow all praise, every glory must to be performed to you. Hallelujah. Where you are today, he brought you there. And where you are going, is the one taking you. Praise the Lord. I say, where you are today, he brought you there. And where you are going again, is the one taking you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Do you know, many of us, all what you have today, God made you to be. Go and ask your mommy or your daddy. Give me the picture of when I was born. Whether when, when you are born, there's a car in your hand and they, there's a house. So you, when they saw you, they, oh, mommy, in your hand, we find a house. Oh, good girl, good boy. You carry house in your hand and a new car in your hand. You carry a lot of clothes and money. They find dollars in your hand. No? How do you came? Empty, they clothe you. Hallelujah. And that's with the same way you are going. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You came where? Empty. Empty. They cover you. Now they begin to find clothes for you. Oh, cover, let's cover him. Let's cover her. Hallelujah. And now you grow. So you have nothing. He gave you everything you have. Hallelujah. That's why he desired. He said to you alone that every vow must be performed. To you alone, you are worthy of my praise. If you give a praise to yourself, you miss that the blessing of God. Some people give the praise to themselves. See, listen, I work hard. It's good to work hard. But after you're working hard, who do you return the praise where I am today? I'm, I, I, I find myself here because somebody brought you there. Hallelujah. God should not be ignored. You know, sometimes, many of us, we have many theories after God has blessed us. Where, where, you, where, where your family has never been like, where things that has never happened. And when now, God, that the same God, has turned to it. doesn't matter anymore. Hallelujah. Do you know, sometimes, that's why God takes time to do good things in our life. Because many of us, we easily forget where you, where you came from and where you are today. Who brought you there? Hallelujah. Oh, it doesn't matter anymore. Before, I'm not wise. Now you are wise now. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God is not hard anymore. That prayer that we are praying before, I have not understanding about it. Now my eyes is open. The devil is working on you. Hallelujah. 
He said, to him alone that all vow should be praised. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In verse 2, you who answer what? Prayer. To you, all people will come. And when you have overwhelmed by sin, you forgive our what? Our transgressions. You know how many times he forgive you every sin of our life. Hallelujah. But then God deserves all your praise today. He deserves all your, he deserves honor. God deserves the praise. God deserves that very honor. And listen, to the one that prays him, he receives more. To the one that worship him, he bless more. To the one that worship God, he turn their life around. To the one that acknowledge him, he push forward, he move them forward. Hallelujah. Learn it. God cannot be ignored. Know it very well. God cannot be what? God cannot be ignored in our life. God will not take a position of being back. He is the one, is the Lord, is the beginning and is the end of all things. In him you have life. You have no life to yourself. Begin to acknowledge him. As you acknowledge him, he's going to be doing more for you. If you appreciate him, not only about what you want to get from God. Many of us, every our Sunday, every our service is about what you want to get from him. But you must come to a point, truly is one that wants to give you all things. But also you must come to a point that you just want to worship him. I want to praise you with my life. I want to thank you with my life. Hallelujah. And you begin to do this. And God begins to see, doing more for you. Praise the Lord. Somebody praise him. Hallelujah. Is that not the same Psalm, Psalm 66, verse 1 says, it says, shout for, say shout joy to God. Shout for joy to God on the earth. He says, sing the glory of his name. He says, make his praise glorious. Say to God, how awesome you are, your deed. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He said, you say to God, how wonderful you are. How glorious you are. Are you saying it this morning? That's what I want us to say to God. Lord, I just thank you. I thank you for the journey of, of this, of, from the January to the last Sunday of this year. That you have been with me. You have been for me. Listen, let, it, let me tell you one thing. For someone to die, do you know it's just a second? The Bible tells me that between life and death is just one step. Between life and what? It takes, it don't take much time for someone to die. Hello? I've seen someone that died before, before in front of me before. Hello? I took the person beside me and I put it on the seat. And uh, before I know, I'm telling him to, to be nice, you know. This person is gone. The person was talking and I was on the seat. And I put the person in the seat. In a few seconds. And that's it. Oh, yo. Hallelujah. It's just a few seconds. And that's it. Hallelujah. But I mean, God cannot be ignored. He has the power, no matter who you are. Praise the Lord. No matter who you are, just a second. You man have no stuff before God, you have no power. You can be bragged to each other. You can act up be, between each other. But before God of heaven, the creator of heaven, and earth, you have no power. None. Praise the Lord. In a second, that's it. And the person was silent. And there was a person, this person is gone. She's gone. I said, What? He said, this person, carry, carry. She's gone. And that's the end of the person. And that's the end of the journey of life. But every day, you are taking the step of life. You take it, you are taking it from one year to this moment. And you're going to take it for so long. Say that, say amen. 
Say amen. No matter what you are going through, God has a plan for you. The plan of God never changed. God is still with his own plan for your life. Hallelujah. Let me see. Do you think that enemy can alter the plans of God for you? Do you think that enemy can alter the plan of God? Listen, enemy can do it. But once you acknowledge God over your plan, he cannot. Enemy can alter the plan. Of, he can alter the plan for if you don't align yourself with it. But once you acknowledge God over your plan, to fulfillment of God's plan, you must get with God to fulfill it. If you are moving away from God, some people, have, their life has been destroyed totally. But not, that's not the plan of God for them. But because they are not acknowledging the plan of God over their life, why this life is up? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Just because you know. Once you acknowledge God's plan over your life, you begin to see the hand of God over your life. Enemy can, yes, if you don't acknowledge God over the plan for your life, everyone, God has, have, he has a plan for you. It's going to be this, going to be that. So for you to fill that plan, you must be under the umbrella of God. Praise the Lord. You must be what? When you are under the umbrella, you say, they that dwell in the secret place of the most high God. Sha'aba, if you're out of the secret place, you're on your, you're on your own. Praise the Lord. But as long that you are under the secret place, the plan will never change. Hallelujah. As long as you dwell in the secret place of God, the plan of God will come to pass. But when you move away from that secret place, you are open for the hand of devil. You are open for satanic plan. But as long as you stay under the secret place, the dream will surely come to pass. Hallelujah. I say your dream will come to pass. Your dream will come to pass. Your dream will come to pass. The glory of God will shine in your life. Your dream will come to pass. The glory of God will shine in your life. Your dream will come to pass. The glory of God will shine in your life. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Look at what he says. He says, say to God, how awesome are your deed? So you great is your power that your enemies shrink before you and all the earth bow down to you. See, they sing praise to you. They sing praise unto your name. Hallelujah. I say your life will sing praise today. Your life will sing praise today. Don't worry about what you are going through. Listen, God's plan is going to come to pass. Don't worry about what you see today. Hallelujah. You will experience God's goodness. Hallelujah. Don't, don't, don't listen to what people are saying. Focus on what God is saying concerning your life. As your life begins to give praise to him, as your life begins to acknowledge him, as you begin to give that honor to him that he deserves, you begin to see your life will begin to have a new story. And your new story will begin today. Say that amen louder. Say that amen louder. Say that amen louder. Say that amen louder. God has been good to us. God has been good to me. Hallelujah. Listen, if I say God has not been good to me, I'm a liar. I'm lying to you. When I look right, I look left. I have a cause to praise him. I want more. I probably say I want more. But I have a cause to glorify God. That's why that song say, I have a reason to praise my Lord. I have a reason to praise my God. In my life, I have a reason to praise the Lord. In my life, I have a reason to praise the Lord. I have a reason to praise the Lord. I have a reason to praise the Lord. In my life, I have a reason to praise the Lord. I have a reason. 
As we are singing that song, there's two things going on. Praise the Lord. Someone, the enemy wants to turn your life around to cause you madness. Um, but uh, the, uh, like uh, to have madness in your life. But the Lord break the yoke. You know, when somebody, there are different kind of madness in life. But some people don't know what he's doing anymore. Live, live, you know. So, no more life. Then you, another thing, your problem has been removed from you. 
what I say that's been removed from you. Every problem of your life, and le te, le listen very well, I don't know what it is, but listen, have this, this word has been released to you. You take note that, ah, I don't see this thing anymore. This thing is not happening anymore in my life. Receive it in the name of Jesus. That problem has been removed. Oh, thank you, my daddy. As this word, you have heard this. You, you take note that, ah, don't, this thing is not happening anymore. I don't see this thing anymore. And that's what is going to happen in your life. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, before we take the Holy Communion, I just wanted to encourage you, as we're going to 2021, 2022, what, say 2021. Pastor, don't want to leave. I'll go. Hallelujah. As we're going to 2022, let us have the heart to love God more than ever before. Let us have a plan for God. That I, I, This is my plan for you, God. This is my plan for your service. This is my plan for, for, your, for, for the church. For the people around me. This is my plan for you, God. And never weary of doing it. You see, they always do it statistics. You see, people make uh, what they call uh, year. You see, for the, in that very month, they bury it. Everything disappears. Oh, so I will be coming to church. I will serve the Lord. Oh, the, the next day, ah, didn't know it's not easy. But he has told you that it's not easy. He takes you to take it by, he told us to take it by what? By force. Hallelujah. God, I have never said to you anything is going to be easy. My serving me is going to be easy. He said, oh, he said, what are you going to do? You have to go out of your way of doing it for me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's what God requires. I mean, of course, we are waiting that when it's going to be easy to serve God, when it's going to be convenient to give your offering, when it's going to be to give your service, to come to church, to do things, they say very well, you wait for so long. Because he has told you that what is going to happen, just have to go out of your way of doing this for me. He, he he went out of his way of saving us. How many of you do you agree with me? God don't supposed to do it. It's God. It's not a sin. He that knew no sin, but through us he experienced sin because he took my sin and took your sin. Hallelujah. He put that sin on himself. So don't wait that when things going to be convenient for you to serve God, to give, to do things. That's why many people are waiting. To, and we're going to go out of your way. Go out of your convenient time. Do things for the Lord. That's what the calling that he has called us to do. is not an easy road. It's a narrow road. Let's have a new phase of serving in, especially in this church and every member in our life, among the friends, among family. Let's have a mind of Christ. A mind that follow him. A mind that love him. Don't let us come to church. Check yourself. Am I my part of his people? Praise the Lord. It's not funny. Let me tell you one thing. I always say pray for your salvation at all times. That God will save you. Do you know? God knows his own people. As we are sitting down here. Hello? Oh. If I say I'm a pastor. God, probably the, 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 what kind of pastor is is the nonsense. Hallelujah. Yeah. You probably say, oh, that, oh, pastor, pastor. God said, no, he's not a pastor nowhere. You don't know. I'm just making myself an example. How you see. But in your heart, be the person of God. Praise the Lord. What I say you should do? Strive to be. Let your heart yearn it. I, I want to be the person for you, God. Let your heart be. He said, I know my people. And my people do what? I know. I know those. So I'm not surprised. He said, somebody has been in the church. Somebody has been that. Ah. He said, he's never been part. He's just there. Ha! What is? Ah! He's just there. The person is just there. Hallelujah. God knows the person very well. That this person is not for me. He's just there. But when the person preach, when the person do this, he pray fire. Uh, he said, no, I know my people. Praise the Lord. Let him know you today. Yan, let him know you. 
Let him know you don't just come as we are going to 2022. Let it be part of our life that I may know you and also acknowledge you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I pray our coming will not be in vain in Jesus' name. Now, I want you to get on your knee, everyone. Now, begin to count God's blessing one by one. The other day, I thank you for the car you gave me this year. I thank you for my job. I thank you for thank you for anything that you can think that he has done for you. Mention him and thank him for it. I thank you that you provide for me. Just thank him in your own way. That's what he wants us to do. Leave the rest for him. He knows what you need. He knows what you want to do for you. And for those that are watching, get on your knee too. Thank, just thank God for the provision for the food. Thank him. Father, thank you. Thank him in your own way. Appreciate God in your own way of returning all the glory back to him. Just thank him. Thank him. I'm hearing that I'm coming with a reply. I'm hearing that. I'm, he said, I'm, as we are thanking him, he said, I'm coming with a reply. Thank him. Father, I thank for the healing, oh God. Thank you, Lord, for your forgiveness over me. Oh, Makado Yama. Oh, thank you for this church, oh God. Oh, thank him. Thank for my children. Thank for my going in, my going out. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for it's helping you to pay that bills. Ah, Lama Ushatayaba. Your cloth is not thrown outside. Thank him. Thank him for the life. Somebody give that praise to him. Lord, I thank you, Lord, for where I am today. Thank for your vision over me, oh God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for what you are doing. Thank you, Lord, for this country, oh God. Somebody thank you, Lord. Are you thanking him? Are you counting the blessing? And now are you giving the glory to him? Are you saying honor to his name? Oh, lift a voice and thank him. Lord, we thank you, Lord. Lord, you are faithful. Lord, you are righteous. Lord, you are good. Oh, la la ba 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 ba. Landa ya la ba ba ba. Oh, shunto ya ba. Lindele mo konto li ma shantele wo. Li prendo tike li ma ushata. Somebody thank him. Can that blessing and give that glory to him. Thank you, Lord, for every member, so God. Thank you, Lord, for this church. Thank you, Lord, for my children. Thank you, Lord, for the wife. Lataka pato toli masitele bo. Thank for my wife, oh God. Thank for my husband, oh God. Thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him. Lishete li ma oraba. Nanda ya ma ushate. Thank for my parent, oh God. Somebody thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Now say, Lord, I return all this glory back to you. Say, say it after me. Say, Lord, I return all the glory back to you for all these that you have done for me. For all these that you have done in my life. I return all this glory back to you that you alone that can do this for me. And you alone that is worthy of this praise. Say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for the blood over me. Oh, the blood of Jesus that speak good things for you every day. Thank you, Lord Jesus, over this church. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise. We give you praise. Rise upon your feet and begin to shout that hallelujah to him. Shout that hallelujah to God. Shout that hallelujah to him. Shout hallelujah to him. Shout hallelujah to him. Shout hallelujah to him. You are going out of this place victoriously. You are going out of this place victoriously. You are living out of this place victoriously. You are living out of this place victoriously. Go in this God's glory. 
Go in this God's glory and return with a great testimony. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Say that amen louder. Let's laugh for Jesus. Quickly, we just want to take the Holy Communion. Hallelujah. Jesus told us when we do this, we should do this in what he has done for us. He said, when you take it, take it in, if you should not take it unworthy, what is he telling you? That you check yourself. That if you have unforgiveness, tell him to forgive you. If you have any sin, confess it to him. Hallelujah. That's what he's telling you. You know, I don't want to take it. I'm a sinner. No, it's not, it's not serious. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, don't take it unworthy. Check yourself. When you check yourself, uh, make your place right with him and you will see the hand of God in your life. He said, do this for a remembrance of what he has done. So, Father, we remember you today, Jesus, and we say thank you to you, Lord, for what you have done. As your people take this, Lord, let the power behind it touch them. Ah, th say that, that, that. Let the power behind it touch them. Let the power behind it break the yoke, O oh God. And let your name alone be glorified. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we return all the praise. Take it, take it, and give thanks to him. Take it and give thanks to God. The, the flesh was broken for you so that you may have life. Your body will not be broken again. And for those that are home, take it and give that glory to him. Hallelujah. Take it and give that glory to the Lord. Glory to God. for you. Hallelujah. And this is the blood that was shed for you for the remission of your sin. Give thanks to the glory of God. Shout a victorious hallelujah. hallelujah. Shout a victorious hallelujah. hallelujah. Shout a victorious hallelujah. Shout a victorious hallelujah. Let's laugh for Jesus. Praise the Lord. This Thursday by 7 p.m. we are coming to give praise to God in our dancing and praise to him. And also this Friday also, we know this night, this Friday is our crossover night. Also we gather together to lift our voice in praise to God by 10 p.m. Uh, Eastern time. And also... What is going to happen again is that um, as we go into 2022, you know, our year, the day of our fasting, and we're going to go on 21 day fasting. Listen, what I say? We're going to, in fact, I don't know, I'm just this theory. If I start and say more, 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 praise the Lord. Don't be happy, say it's 21 days. I'll probably go for that. I don't know. But at least let's put in mind that what? 21 days. And this is the church thing. Which many of us, I can call you, be prepared. Anyone can, I put you online. Forget about the online. We are doing it's the church thing now. Praise the Lord. So, we will, so I can call you not only me. Any, many of us who are going at the, oh, your bra, if I say, oh, bra, so, so you are leaving session uh, afternoon, you better get ready. Praise the Lord. While we are doing this, you know, it's good because you commit your way to the Lord. What I say? We commit our way to the Lord. So, our fasting is going to start on the tour. Finish the, your rise on the first. And finish your rise on the second. On Monday, even though, yeah, even as you say, you start on Sunday. But it's a Thanksgiving Sunday. Say, ah, don't worry, let go. I let go. Eat, fin let, finish your leg over. But our fasting starts on Monday. Monday on the tour. So, so why are you doing this? Sometimes, oh, everybody is doing this. In fact, I'm saying, oh, of Christ, nothing bad in it. To commit your way to God in the beginning of the year. Hallelujah. 
there's nothing bad in it. Well, even everybody is doing it. Everybody should have been doing it. Every child of God should do it. Hallelujah. My first month in the year of the Lord must be to the Lord, for the purpose of the Lord. And you set the pace for the rest of the year. What did I say? You, yeah, you set it. I've committed my way to the Lord. This year I will prosper. I've committed my year to the Lord. This year I will prosper. So by God's grace, we're starting out. And listen, because of the time, that's why we see me on Facebook. You don't see the, the pastor thing. It's not pastor. We started this prayer line with fasting and prayer one day. I could remember. And that's how we started. You find a phone line to join. So, if I say, oh, Brazos, so you are leading so, so afternoon, you are taking, let everybody get it. The church is the what? In fasting. If I say, the church, let's gather by five o'clock at church. We're ready. Hello. Anything can work. Mm, so, let's get ready. But on the third, our fasting and prayer start. And let's commit our way to the Lord. Pray for the church. And I know the Lord Jehovah God will do great things in our life, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. How many of you are ready for 2022? Come with Thanksgiving art next week Sunday. Invite your friends. And I know great things will happen in your life in Jesus' name. Ah, thank you, my daddy. Hallelujah. Listen, brother, even though what you don't ask, that you don't ask this morning, write it this down. God gives you. I'm saying this to you. See what this person is talking about. Even though what you don't take note, you're going to see a testimony coming. You don't ask for you don't ask for it. It's going to happen. And to the glory of Jehovah God. Go in this blessing and return with a great testimony. So shall it be. In Jesus' name, our Lord will act. I say it again. What you don't ask, even though you don't ask for it, you don't talk about it, you will see it's going to manifest. It's going to happen. 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 To the glory of God. To the name of Jesus. It's going to happen. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Ah, thank you, my daddy. Uh, I hear this voice. Yeah, like it's, You know, when you eat, you wash your hand. Hello. After you finish eating, you wash your hand. I hear that voice and I hear it in my language. No, your word a cool noon day. You see what is what am I talking about? You see, I remove your hand from the from the hand of uh, can I say bad food suffering from food of I remove your hand from the food of affliction. Say that amen very well. You see, I remove your hand from the food of affliction. As on today, your suffering come to an Say that amen louder. Hallelujah. You are going in the fullness of God. You are going in the grace of God. You are going with a new garment in your life. And the glory of God shall manifest in your life. So shall it be. In Jesus' name, we give all the glory. Let's rise of our feet and let's share the grace together. By the grace of Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, Spirit fellowship of the Holy Spirit, we will touch now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy follows all the days of our life until the end as of the Lord. We shout for the last Sunday of this year, 2021. Can you give God 2021? Hallelujah! 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 Hallelujah, 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 halleluj
Alléluia, 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 Alléluia. I told you that you are fasting on Thursday and Friday too, right? Do you know that, right? Uh, you are fasting this Thursday and this Friday. You know. <laughs>